And uh, I guess start with some background, maybe like how you got into uh, the interpretation of blacksmithing and uh, what kind of... Well, I didn't set out specifically to interpret blacksmithing. I guess I started out to be a blacksmith. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been a woodworker for 36 years. Mm -hmm. I learned that. My father had some woodworking tools, and that was my first place where I learned woodworking. And then just taught myself, specialized in lathe work. That was mm -hmm. my big thing. And um, just uh, worked in the theater for also about 34 years. And, and part of one of my jobs was in properties manufacturing items for use on the stage and opera, dance. And I was thinking, well, if I'm manu manufacturing and stuff, it seemed kind of weird to build a piece of furniture and then have to go to the hardware store. They'd do some custom work or the designer would want some custom ideas and mm -hmm. then uh, you'd have to put just stock hardware on it. And then I'd do my own custom work at the house and think, well, I need to go one step further. Of course, that also would lead me to making my own tools. So. I think it's a reasonable, reasonable way to go. I uh, signed up for the class, lived here in town, knew the park was here, but didn't think much about it at the time. And when I signed up for the class, the woman who was signing me up said, you know, they're looking for somebody. So what better way to practice the skill? So I didn't really come to it thinking of it as being an interpreter, per se, mm -hmm. just to practice the craft. Enjoy the, the craft itself and oh, yeah. enjoy its... Freedom. Mm -hmm. Well, I have, well, uh, not only work here, but also in my own shop. So. Mm -hmm. And what kind of stuff do you do there? That depends. Uh, sometimes it's freeform creations. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to meld. I'm working right now. I'm trying to meld my woodworking and my blacksmithing together and uh, return to painting as well. I used to paint years ago mm -hmm. in uh, watercolors, but now I've branched out into another, other mediums and try and now to see if I can take woodworking, blacksmithing, and painting and pour them all together in some sort of unified form, some entity. Interesting. I've always loved wood and metal together. Mm -hmm. There's something about the textures of both and the, the glows and the warmth of both that, that really well, complement one another. That's the funny thing. It took me a long time to get to the point where I could recognize the warmth of metal. Mm -hmm. uh, in the shops that I worked in prior to this, uh, wherever steel was being used, it was just basically cut and weld into place. There was no attempt to be, it was all structural work. There mm -hmm. was no artwork involved mm -hmm. with it. And um, since it was using tube stock primarily, um, there's not very much very, you know, very appealing about it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much extruded forms and uh, you don't, when they're just cutting it and welding it into place, it's a noisy, kind of messy operation. Mm -hmm. uh, not much, as superstructure as structural steel is not much artistic. Mm -hmm. it. It's going into an artistic product, but the material itself has very little in the way of, of blossoming or, or anything. It's, it's going to be covered over. It's like a two, two by four versus a hand planed piece of oak or yes. something like that. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, once you start fashioning it with flame and hammer, then it develops a different character. That mm -hmm. same piece of steel uh, can take on a certain life because it's got uh, marks now on it. It's got the mark of the, of the maker on it. Uh, I just, just made these two blast covers, uh, dirt covers, and uh, they were just pieces of steel. But now they've got a form to them, they're functional. Um, I try to make it with some sort of elegance in the, ar in the arc. And then there's my hammer marks on it, so they're no longer just flat pieces of dimensional steel or something practical, useful, and hopefully they have a little bit of grace to them, more than just just a flat piece of steel. Mm -hmm. um, just for utilitarian purposes, safety purposes, but that ultimately there's, to me, you have to rise above just the practical standpoint of something that should elevate itself somehow, especially if it's hand.